So Greg Velikop, the umpire for this men's doubles. This is the toss of the coin. And the Koreans have won the toss. Korean number two seeds, Jung Jae Sung and Lee Yong Day. Well, they've already been in three consecutive finals at this particular end of season championship. They won the event in 2009. Can they make it four in a row? Well, Lee Yong Day, 23 years of age. Younger of the two Koreans. It was Jung Jae Sung, 29. Now currently world number two ranked pair. But were briefly world number ones back in 2009, January 2009 to be precise. And they really have had an excellent year. 11 finals they've been in. Winning six of them. won two Super Series back-to-back -back in Europe, Denmark and the French as well. But in fact, won three consecutive Super Series in which they played because they also won the China Masters. They didn't play together. Their partnership was split up for the Japan Open. So to their opponents, Guo Zhendong, and Chai Biao, Guo Zhendong, the more experienced of the two. There he is, 27-year-old. Chai Biao, just 21. And three finals for the Chinese pair this year. They started the year incredibly well. Won the first of the Super Series events, won in Malaysia. And this the third meeting between the two pairs last time they met was quarterfinal of that China Open the last of the Super Series events this year and of course China Super Series was the fifth and final premier event of 2011 so for this Chinese combination only formed their partnership right at the end of last season. Played together at the Hong Kong Super Series event, did the Chinese pair. Well, that's basically when Zhang Nan started concentrating on his mixed doubles because he used to partner Chai Biao. In fact, they were semi finals of this version of the end of season championships. 2010. So the number two seeds from Korea. Jung Jae Sung and Lee Yong Day. Now we were expecting Chinese men's doubles semi finalists, but I have to say, I don't think we were really expecting this Chinese pair because in their group they beat Kai Yun and Fu Hai Feng on the very first day of competition, beat them in three games. And of course, as far as Guo Zhendong and Chai Biao are concerned, they finished second in Group A because they lost out to Go Yu from Korea. concerned about Jung Jae Sung. Lots of media stories about his bad shoulder. And it's been quite obvious from his matches so far that there is an injury problem. 
in that he's not smashing as hard as he normally does and also not wanting to be at the back of the court quite as often well there's a clear example of him not wanting to smash playing a delightful drop shot Korean teammates Chinese combination, Ian, do like to play a fast and furious game, don't they? Yes, that's their strength. They like the power game. And lots of aggression from mid-court, rear-court. He's the more natural front player of the two, although they do play with good rotation. As you say, the odd thing in this match will be that we're used to seeing Lee Young Day rotating forward the whole time. And certainly during the pool stages, he was actually rotating out because of Jung's, his partner's uh, shoulder injury. He's taken a lot more responsibility in the rear court during the matches this week. Serve is short. Just see the strapping coming out from the sleeve there. Jung's shoulder problem. That's well placed. Got to smash the play, drifting out to the right hand side of the court. Lee Young Day intercepting the shuttle early and cutting the shuttle back into the centre, finding the space. Yeah. Uh, good rally, but the Koreans always on top. Took a few to put it away, but they stayed patient. Kept the pressure, kept the Chinese in that deep defensive position. medalist at World Championships last year. Guo Dong playing men's doubles with Zhu Chen, who we're going to see in the mixed doubles later on. Great <laughs> court coverage there. Chai. He's manoeuvred left to right, right to left. Managed to keep getting behind the shuttle, keep the pressure on the Koreans in defence. smash from his partner to get him in the game and really that was an easy kill should have been hitting that rather than blocking it well above the net
celebration there from Kim Jae Sung. shot moving forward closing the space down well the Koreans are incensed convinced that the flick serve was wrong. Umpire's not having any of it. Telling the players to play on. Well, I do hope we see that again. Korean players are looking up towards the giant screen. It's a pity. It's a good serve. It's taking the attack. Yeah, Korea's not having time to get into defensive formation. It all stemmed from that good serve from Chai. Here we see it. Lee forced to take it from below net height. And then never got back into position. There's a run of four straight points. Total confusion between the two Koreans. I have to say, I do think that they've let that call rattle them a little. Five straight points from Chai Biao and Guo Zhengdong to take them from 6-8 adrift to the mid-game interval with the advantage. <laughs> Uh, with some work to do here to get his players refocused again. Certainly loss of concentration around that line call. I think they'd be too experienced for that now, really. Yeah, never used to see him hunt the net like that. Good serve, switch the direction, anticipated straight, re spot, straight reply, but uh, Jung was alive to it, crossed himself. Good quick thinking. Good rally. 
And Jung Jason able to smash. Yeah, it was a flatter smash. Sort of encouraged the Chinese to play flat and get his partner in. Chinese flattening out the defense. But Lee Hyundai so quick in that four court position to intercept. Getting in. Saw the shuttle drop in, we'll see it here. Here, yeah, lifts cross, holds his position and then follows. Good play, good hitters. And the Koreans back level. Racket up quickly, putting three shots together. We only saw the last one there, but it's a good chaining of shots. a lot of strength to do that. <laughs> oh, and another sensational shot from Guo Zhengdong this time. Well, was it a backhand smash or just a backhand clip down, really? Again, strong forearm. Very little swing of the racket, didn't need a backswing. so far picked up a lot of points on his service Great power and good precision to channel attack straight down the middle. 275. Gasp of disappointment from the crowd here. 
bank of crowns all week in New Jolt. He's been the difference so far in this first game. He's served really well, and his rear court attack's been really special. 284. Not quite the record. And a 285 from Fu Haifeng. on the floor and went back to that side of the court but just overcooked it a little bit at the moment oh, the Chinese combination leaping on everything and oh, that quick agile play has earned them three game points the scoreline and really I think that's as good as I've ever seen this Chinese pair perform very impressive indeed well they played a great first set there the other thing they've done is they've really got the crowd in the game got the crowd behind them and they're feeding off the crowd at the moment Shai Biao in particular has played an exceptional first game there not only has he been really powerful, powerful from the rear court, that we're used to, but he's served well, he's returned well, and he's also been really alert on the forecourt, picking up some good interceptions as well. I'd say he's certainly been the difference between the two pairs so far in this match. Well, it was such scintillating form in the opening game. My only question mark is whether they can keep that sort of intensity going. Chinese combination. deeper and deeper defensive positions because of the sheer power. Oh, 
Samoa Koreans just aren't looping with the pace of this at the moment. No, again, it's the Chinese moving forward, getting control of that front court, driving the Koreans away from the net. to be moving forward and at the moment the Chinese pair are driving him off that position Intensity is impressive at the moment. They're able to take the attack every exchange. Good. But once again, the Koreans can't believe the call. And once again, hands on hips, looking towards the umpire, looking towards the giant screen. That point's gone. They've got to focus on the next one. Nothing they can do about it. The Koreans get in the winning the attack. Managing to take the fire out of the exchange a little bit there. That's probably the key for the Korean pair. They must create some attacking opportunities just to be able to control the pace of the game. And it's going to be out a long way. Yes, and as you suggested, just taking some fire out of it. Uh, Nice little block there from Lee Yong Day. Force the error. The Chinese do love to feed off the, the pace shots. Attack. They're very effective. Koreans got first chance there, couldn't convert. And the Chinese got it. Much more efficient. opportunity for his partner and eventually it's the defense of Lee Young Day that cracks he's trying to play the block you can see what he's trying to do he wants to take the pace out
along the back line. And again, Chung just guilty of hitting onto the Chinese there and the feed on that pace, as you said, Jill. Shuttle just kept coming back quicker and quicker and eventually made the mistake. I feel a block would be more effective there. Oh, good flick serve. Oh. What on earth was that? It's a terrible smash. <laughs> Upward smash. <laughs> the upward smash. I used to call that the dentist smash. Because your partner would need a dentist afterwards. again finding the weakness in the smash or in the defense of Lee Yong Day yes which is unusual his defense is normally so solid but he's getting frustrated in this game yeah he's trying desperately to play block defense but he's getting switched from forehand to backhand and Chinese Chinese just keeping the pressure on the whole time creating attacking opportunity after attacking opportunity at the moment and the pressure's telling. It's always difficult as a player if you are carrying an injury and then things don't go your way and you're struggling on court anyway and maybe think that you've had a call, bad line call go against you and it's almost as if you think the whole world is conspiring against you and it's terribly difficult to keep your spirits up and keep yourself focused into the job in hand yeah misunderstanding the Chinese side there so desperate to move in and cover the space at the front of the court they were left vulnerable to a little flick to the rear court Rally. Oh, my goodness. It's gone wide. What a rally. Well, defence early on in that rally from Lee Yong Day was extraordinary. Scrambled the shuttle back, but then the Chinese pair showed that they too had incredible reactions and a little surprised that the umpire well, he is now allowing them to tell down. That was a colossal rally. Interesting there. I think the Koreans were desperately trying to keep uh, Chai Biao out of the game, putting a lot of pressure on Zheng Dong. But in the end, Chai Biao was able to get into the rally and immediately the intensity increased. It's his power and speed at the moment that are critical. They're the deciding factor in this match so far. Oh, nice return, nice variety. Hesitated. Yeah. Late decision, didn't know whether to drive or block. And then caught between the two.
stemmed from a very strange shot from Zeng Dong. Cross court high clear in men's doubles really doesn't exist. Really got to keep the shuttle going down from there. Back level. Just wonder whether the pace is telling a little bit with Zeng Dong. Seems to have lost a little bit of pace from the rear court. And is smashing. The Koreans certainly trying to target him a little bit at the moment. still there, that's another super point from him, good return, hunting the next shuttle. See here, good return and good interception. Too quick for the Korean pair again. So the narrowest of possible advantages at the mid-game interval. That's not even close. That's a long way out. Yeah, good skill from Lee Young Day in the front court. Managing to work the opportunity for his partner. A super cross net. Chinese being caught on the retreat. Good angle from Jung. It's a good return again. Push straight back onto it. between the two Chinese players. Both going for the same shot at the back of the court and then leaving a huge gap at the front. Yeah, it's just wide. Basically, that was a chance already. See him coming from a long way back. Read it, but just missed it. Delightful. Super play. How quick was he getting in there? Saw that the Koreans were going to take the pace off. Very, very quick to get in. Here we see him. That's quick movement. Good court coverage. Serve, but when you're down in the match, you've got to make your opponents play the shuttle. Oh, he's not looking too happy, is he? Korean coach. Overdone it. Overdone it. Nice idea. He's got a little bit too much on the shuttle.
perfect placement of the smash, the channel attack, slight hesitation from Jung Jae Sung. That hesitation forced him into error. Oh, unbelievable net shot. Boy, <laughs> big jump smash for putting that shuttle away. He wasn't going to make a mistake, was he? That got rid of some frustration. Pressure again from Chow Gao. Playing high up the court. You see him moving forward as he defends that. Looking to close the space down, and that keeps the pressure on the Korean pair. Yeah. See the adrenaline pumping through him there. Wanted the big smash winner. There was plenty of space down the middle, which was a lower wrist shot. It's a great interception again. He really has served and returned very, very well in this match, Jiao Two points required to book their place in tomorrow's final. Just out. And just look from Jung as it went past him. to intercept, completely missed it. Yeah, right behind that, he actually missed it by a fair distance. As I say, he's looking really pumped up at the moment. And he took too big a swing at it. Great serve, he's got the attack. I think he was, he was distracted because the Chinese pair were all over the place. They cooked into each other in the middle of the court here. He had a look where they were, changed his mind. He really just needed to get it over the net. Three match points. Two mistakes at the end, uh, towards the end, hasn't he? Shall be out. It's a little nervous. Be a big win for them. First time, second time of asking. And Chai Biao and Guo Zhendong 
have beaten the number two seeds. 21-17, 21-18. And the youngster played an absolute blinder today. Very, very good, as you say, Ian, perhaps a little bit nervous, just right at the end. But he was indeed outstanding in the opening game. Serve and return, superb. And there is confirmation that Chai Biao and Guo Zhengdong are through to the final. 21-17, 21-18 in 42 minutes.